Let's go on to four. All right. Well, see you at question four. Okay. So Nuro placed two identical kettles A and B on two metal plates made of the same material. Okay. You have two of the same kettles A and B on the metal plates made of the same material. All right. The kettles contain the same amount of water at room temperature. And what am I doing to this water in the kettle? I am going to boil it. I'm going to heat it. And by doing so, I put them on two plates. Look at the difference in the plates. One of them is a full metal plate. The other one has gaps in between. And then I put a heat source below. So I heat the plate so that the plate will become hot. So my water will gain heat, right? From the hot plates. So which kettle do you think will boil first? Shanice, try this one. Which kettle do you think will boil first? Is it kettle A or kettle B? Kettle A. Very good. It's kettle A. You're right. Now, can you now explain or give evidence based on this picture? Why do you think it's kettle A? There is a smaller exposed surface area in wait, 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 wait. Kettle A, the metal plate has a smaller exposed surface area in contact with the heat. Kettle B. Or kettle B, use kettle A to explain because you chose kettle A, so use kettle A to explain. It has a larger... Ah, the metal plate for kettle A has a larger surface area, area in contact with the what? Kettle A. Kettle A or you can say, it, yeah, kettle A. Okay, good. Now use my three steps, heat transfer. So you must say, therefore, the water in kettle A will gain heat, gain heat fast faster from the metal plate. Okay, from the hot metal plate, or you can also say from the heat source. Okay. And boil faster. Boil faster. Very good. Y'all understand? This is about larger surface area. There's more metal plate touching the base of the kettle A. That's why I use the word larger surface area. The metal plate has a larger surface area in contact with the kettle. Okay, so I say kettle A has a larger surface area in contact with the metal plate compared to kettle B. So again, once my heat transfer, the water in kettle A will gain heat from the heat source faster and boil faster. Now, part B. Explain why John used paper cup B to obtain the hot coffee for his customers. All right, this one, there is a missing picture. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the picture now. Huh? Wait. Huh? Okay, this is the picture. All right, doesn't matter. Okay, just use, my just use my diagram to look at the picture, okay? So the first one starts here. The arrow starts here, okay? Let's read. John started a cafe and decided to use paper cup B instead of paper cup A to contain the hot coffee. You know, have you all gone to Starbucks before or other different cafes? And then when, when you order a very hot cup of drink, they don't give you cup A, right? They give you cup B and then there's this jagged, jagged edges, right? Surrounding the cup. Then you don't hold the smooth surface. You hold the jagged edges, right? Especially for hot drinks. So the question is, why would John use paper cup B to contain the hot coffee for his customers? Why would he give this jagged, jagged edges to the customers when he put hot coffee? Nathan? They don't burn their head from huh? the hot coffee. So that they won't burn their hands from the co hot coffee. Okay, but you know you cannot explain like that, right? You, that is only yeah. the last part. Teacher, my one don't have the picture. I know, I know. I, I really told y'all. Y'all all don't have this picture. That's why I use my screen to show y'all. So look at my look at my diagram. Nathan, you cannot just say, oh, so the customers will not get burned. I know. That is only the end of your answer. But what is the science concept behind this, Nathan? So ask yourself, if let's say your fingers, you're holding on to the smooth surface, compared you hold on to the jagged edges, your hands has a what Com when you hold cup B? Do you think... to hold. Sorry? 
Cup B is easier to hold than Cup A. No, no, no. Nothing to do with the grip. This is about, I don't want to get burned. The customers don't want to get burned, right? So why do you think they will hold the, the jagged edges? Why do you think they will hold this surface, the jagged surface? Because do you think more skin is touching the jagged surface or more skin is touching cup A? The jagged surface. More skin will touch it. Lah. You think about this zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. And then your, your fingertips are touching the, the zigzag ones compared to your fingertips touch the smooth surface of your cup. Which one will touch? Which, which, which one will touch the cup more? Uh, the, the skin will more of your skin will touch cup A or more of your skin will be in contact with cup B? Cup B. One contact cup B. Really? Let me give you an example. Uh, don't have a paper with me now. You know your you know your full paper fence, then there's a jagged edges, right? Then now your now you must imagine. Okay, I touch the jagged edges and then I don't fold the paper, I touch the jet, I touch the smooth paper. Which one, which my hands is in contact more with the flat paper or the jagged one? Jagged? Jagged one eh? Less, it doesn't, hmm? it doesn't, <laughs> less of your skin will touch the jagged edges one. Correct? More of your skin touches the smooth paper. Right, Nathan? Y'all can try it out at home, okay? Just fold your paper fan, right? Then you touch it. Okay, so in fact, I can I can help you now, okay? Cut B when there's this jagged edges, okay? The customer's hand will be in less contact with the jagged edges, with the cut B, the corrugated surface. Less. So I will say, the customer hands has a smaller surface area in contact with cut B. So because of that, the hands will also gain heat slower from the hot coffee compared to cup A. How come my how come my how come cup A I get burned easily? Because my hands has a larger surface area in contact with cup A. That's why my hands will gain heat faster from the hot coffee. And that's why they get burned faster. Cut B, much slower. Understand? Okay, read it through. So this is about the smaller surface area in contact with cut B compared to cut A. So the customer's hands. That's why the customer hands will gain heat slower from the hot coffee and not burn the hand. That's all. Okay? <laughs>